So what I thought I would do is I would just talk a little bit about the very symbiotic relationship that exists between our university and the city and, and look, a, look a bit further forward and see how that sort of relationship might develop into the future. So I thought actually a good way of introducing this presentation would be for me just to show you a very short video uh, that we had uh, produced relatively recently that highlights some of the fantastic things that we've currently got going on at De Montfort University. We're living in turbulent and testing times. The world is standing on a razor's edge. We're our own worst enemy if we walk the path that's worn thin. Dare to find an alternative that makes our hearts beat that little bit harder. Then together we'll make great strides for the good of all. This is not about surrendering to convention. This is learning to succeed. This is the Montfort University, Leicester. So I then thought I'd say a little bit about the um, heritage of De Montfort University because the university and its predecessor organisations have been firmly rooted in the city of Leicester since uh, going back to 1870. So in 1870, the university origins date back to the founding of the Leicester School of Art. Uh, we then forward to 1897, the School of Art and Technical School merged as the Leicester Municipal Technical and Art School. Um, 1929, they became the Leicester Colleges of Art and Technology. 1969, the City of Leicester Polytechnic was formed when the Colleges of Art and Technology merged. And then fast forwarding to 1992, uh, when, the when De Montfort University was granted um, university status. So we've got a tradition that dates back to uh, the 1870s in the City of Leicester. We're also very fortunate in that we have a fantastic city centre campus. And the city centre campus, as you'll see a little bit later on, is a wonderful blend of the old and the new. So at the heart of the city centre campus in the Newark, we've got Trinity House, which dates back to 1330, constructed by Henry III, Earl of Leicester, originally as an almshouse and hospital to treat the poor and infirm. And actually our Hawthorne building, which houses many of our health and life science activities, uh, was originally the home to the Church of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in 1361, and you'll see reference to that a little bit later on. So the university and its predecessor organisations have contributed significantly to the development of Leicester and provided a catalyst for local industry over many years, and particular areas where we feel we've contributed to are in the areas of textile, fashion and footwear. Most recently in 2015, we were very pleased to be able to bring all of this heritage and history together in our Heritage Centre, which was opened by uh, the Vice-Chancellor in 2015. And here's a picture of the Heritage Centre. The Heritage Centre is uh, actually located in the Hawthorne Building, and the two arches you can see um, in the background are all that remains of the Church of the Annunciation, uh, the Church of the Annunciation which was on, uh, on the site of the Hawthorne Building. So looking a bit further forward, what's DMU's role as um, a 21st century university? So I think there are lots of, lots of synergies and lots of symbiotic relationships that exist with the city and the local region. And I've listed just a few there on the screen, so I'll go through each of those in turn relatively quickly. Um, engaging with the local community. We feel very passionately as a university that we're a university for the public good and we need to engage with the local community. And I'll talk in a little while about our award-winning Square Mile project, which epitomises our philosophy, really, in terms of community engagement. Through Square Mile and other activities, we've got uh, strong engagement with local schools. So, for example, helping with tuition in terms of maths uh, and English, um, and also through health services, so through the Square Mile uh, we work very closely providing um, free hearing tests, for example, for uh, residents of the Square Mile and many other activities related to um, health. We support local businesses. Uh, we have uh, a central university department, part of whose function is to help support local businesses, whether it's through uh, providing incubation units, providing expertise, um, or providing other advice and um, access to resources to help businesses develop. Um, we're very proud as a university that 50% or so of our graduates remain in the city of Leicester. I think it's really important that we, as well as attracting 
uh, the best graduates to Leicester. We're also able to keep our best graduates um, in the city because I think that will be very benef beneficial to the city um, and the community. There are lots of ways we contribute to the city's social and um, cultural life. We have a partnership with, with Curve, where we are today, um, that hosts our very successful graduation ceremonies as one example of how we contribute to uh, cultural life. And you'll see a little bit later on that we're spending uh, an awful lot of uh, time and money investing in our city centre campus, um, and we're very supportive of the Con Connecting Leicester initiative um, in the city. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, our Square Mile project, which is at the heart of uh, connecting our university with the local community. Can I get the clicker to work? So the, the principle behind Square Mile is relatively straightforward. We want to be able to ut utilise the academic expertise that we have at our university to help residents uh, in the local community, to help develop that local community. So th we have a number of focus projects, and you'll see that we've so far had 41 um, projects delivered from grassroots in partnership with the local community. We're very pleased that the Square Mile has been um, recognised, and we've won a number of awards for the Square Mile project. And it's quite a large project that involves not just residents of the Square Mile, not just our staff, but it also involves our students. And you can see from the bottom of the slide there that so far we've engaged with, we've involved 1,500 of our students, 62 of our staff members, delivering 41 genuinely transformational projects in the Square Mile area. And I'd just like to show you a quick video now um, demonstrating some of the uh, initiatives that we've got going on in the Square Mile. At the heart of our ethos is um, partnerships, and I thought I'd spend one or two minutes just talking to you about some of the wonderful partnerships we have within the city and the region. The first partnership we have is with Leicester City Council. Um, we have a very uh, good relationship with the City Council, and we're working with the City Council in um, a number of areas. 
So some of these areas I've already talked about, improving schools. So we have outreach programs in city schools promoting HE in collaboration with the other universities in the region, the University of Leicester um, and also Loughborough University. We have interaction with schools, as you've heard, through um, Square Mile. Um, and we also have an education department who are working closely with schools and school teachers. Um, you've also heard about some of the things that, we've ha that we have in terms of health and well-being through Square Mile, but we also have strong links through our Faculty of Health and Life Sciences in terms of training and research. And collaboration with Leicester City Council and University Hospitals Leicester, particularly to look at older people's care. So that's a, a really strongly developing area. Um, Capitalising on, on heritage, uh, we all know about Richard III, fantastic discovery for Leicester. We're obviously very, very supportive of that initiative. We've been very supportive of the Richard III walking trail, uh, which takes in the Hawthorne building, which is where the Church of the Annunciation was, which is where Richard's body was laid out when he came back to Leicester. So we're very supportive of, the, of the Richard III and, and other uh, issues to do with heritage. In fact, that's one of the reasons we, we, we felt so strongly that it was a good thing to do to open our heritage centre. I mean, improving graduate retention, I've already said that we're very pleased that 50% or so of our graduates remain in Leicester. Um, we, were, we were very pleased to work with Leicester University and the City Council in helping to attract big companies come to Leicester, such as IBM. Um, and obviously for them, the steady supply of good graduates is one of their, their key uh, factors that they're looking for when they come and set up in a city. So we were very pleased to work with them on that. We have a number of cultural partnerships. I've already mentioned the partnership that we have with Curve. Uh, we also have partnership with um, Phoenix Square um, and other organisations to uh, generate, to enhance Leicester's cultural life. So we're strong supporters, for, for example, of the Leicester Comedy Festival. We have a number of graduate and student internships. So this is an opportunity for our graduates and our students to get work experience in local organisations. So we work with local companies, charities, to help place our students and graduates so that they can get some work experience so when they enter the job market, they're in the best place possible to secure that job. Uh, we run annual productions um, every year in partnership with Curve and our DMU drama, drama students. And all this contributes, we feel, to raising the cultural profile in Leicester uh, and the cultural quarter in Leicester. Um, we work very strongly with local businesses. Uh, I've mentioned that we provide uh, a whole range of opportunities for us to engage with businesses. There's a long list here. I won't go through this list. Just suffice it to say that we're very keen to work with local businesses in whatever way is most helpful. Um, universities can seem frightening places to go to to engage with, but actually uh, we've got a one-stop shop, so please feel free to come and visit us, come and talk to us if you have any issues to do with business development or your business. We'd be very, ha very happy to try and help you out in any way that we can. And if we can't, we'll point you in the, in, in the direction of, uh, of another organisation that we feel can help you. And we're obviously supporting the Leicestershire and Leicester Enterprise Partnership, uh, which is very, very active in the region. We have very strong sports partnerships. So we have strategic partnerships with uh, Leicester City Football Club, Leicester Tigers Rugby Football Club, and Leicestershire County Cricket Club. They're very important partnerships for us. Um, they, they work in a number of ways. Uh, we provide interns and graduate uh, champions uh, to those organisations. So that's another way of helping our graduates get experience in a whole broad range of, of different types of, of organisations. We're just about to uh, embark on a project to uh, refurbish and extend some sports pitches uh, in Beaumont, uh, currently occupied by the Beaumont Town Football Club, to provide greater provision there, not just for Beaumont Town Football Club, not just for our staff and students, but also for the local community. And we are also planning to extend our square mile into the Beaumont area. So that's a really good example, again, of how we're engaging with the local community. Um, and we have a watershed development which will be the home to our rowing club and will also provide extra facilities for uh, our De Montfort Student Union that's down by the river. So I thought I'd just finish by talking a little bit about our campus transformation programme. So the campus transformation programme, for those of you that are, have visited our campus, 
We're spending uh, about almost £140 million on transforming the central part of our campus for uh, new facilities for our Faculty of Art, Design and Humanities. So not only are we creating fantastic facilities for our students and staff, but we're also creating public spaces for, uh, for the city of Leicester. Um, we've also engaged in high, other high quality community sports facilities. So a couple of years ago, we um, opened the QE2 uh, Leisure Centre, which is a fantastic new leisure centre for our staff and students, but importantly also for the local community. Beaumont Park sports pitches I've already mentioned, um, and Watershed I've already mentioned as home to uh, our rowing club from next year. So this is a picture of what we call our Fletcher redevelopment. So this is the heart of our redevelopment on campus and this will be the heart of our Art Design and Humanities faculty. Uh, and you can see the development work going on there with um, our Fletcher Tower in the middle of uh, its refurb. The next slide will show you what it will look like at the end. So you can see there's a, bit, a complete transformation of the area. Uh, the Fletcher, the, the tower you see is on the left of the screen there along with a lot of new build that's gone on, a lot of landscaping. Um, the Queen's Building, for those of you who know the campus, is the building uh, on the right-hand side at the top of the screen. So we're investing a lot in the city centre campus, which isn't just for our staff and our students, but it's for the local community as well. John Sanford uh, was our old leisure centre. We're refurbishing our old leisure centre, uh, and actually we're moving our graduations back to campus, and they'll be held along with other high-profile events um, in this facility that will be finished um, this August. This is our leisure centre, Q Q QE2 Diamond Jubilee Leisure Centre that many of you may have seen um, on our campus. I'll just finish off by talking a little bit about a project that we've got going on right now th at this very moment. So those of you that know De Montfort University, uh, behind Trinity House, there's the castle quarter of the city. Very beautiful, very picturesque. And we're very pleased to be working with the City Council again and also John Jonathan Choi, Dr Jonathan Choi, uh, Chairman of the Sunwa Group, to create the Jonathan Choi Leicester Business School, which will be housed in uh, the Great Hall of Leicester Castle. We've also um, taken ownership of some of the buildings in the run-up to Great Hall of Leicester Castle that you can see in the distance. So we're very keen to open up this whole area and to make this whole area Part of, part of the university campus so that we can get greater footfall through there and it can be opened up for the City of Leicester. So another really exciting opportunity there. I thought I'd just finished, I've run a little bit over, but I've just got one more video to show you um, and it's a visual showcase of DMU's campus. I'm sorry I've overrun slightly, but hopefully I've given you a feel for the sort of symbiotic relationship that exists between our university and the city and, and the region. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for listening.